Hi everybody and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I've been putting some of these up here. I got two more. And I got at Dollar Tree. I'll be showing these in my haul. I did the haul yesterday, but I um, I'm going to put it out today after a while, after this sometime. Uh, but these are part of the uh, haul, and I've been putting a couple of them up. The wind twisters. Uh, that one. It's this one. And I've got two of them. Let me set these over there. Oops. Okay, here's one. Up along with my hummingbird, how did you turn around like that? So, and then down here, I got a round one. I like that. How kind of neat. Okay, I repotted all of these and this one were repotted yesterday. All of them. In the in the uh, milk will grow soil. Uh, organic. I didn't get to these yet. All these peppers and eggplants. I'm going to have to do them today because they need done. Uh, these are the original ones that are in the other soil that you can see that they're turning kind of yellow. I think this, I think there's too much fertilizer in that, that soil for seedlings because it's got enough for nine months, it says. So it's probably a little too strong for them. Uh, so those are, I don't know what I'll do with those, if I'll do anything with them or not. Uh, there's two white queens left that are trying to grow. I got two over there that are doing okay. Uh, I think these are a couple beef steaks here that's left, or or, a, or either one Cherokee and one beef steak. I might need to do something with. Uh, I, I these are pots. These pots here I got from Dollar Tree yesterday, and they are nice. So I got just a few in that. So, and then I need to pot up, since these are gonna be in here for a while until it's time to transplant them, I'm gonna, they won't do that great. Uh, they're full of roots, I'm sure, because they're coming out the bottom, you know. Uh, so that's a big root ball in there. So I'm gonna uh, pot these up uh, with some, well, as much as I got left of the, of the uh, uh, with as much as I have left of the miracle Grow organic, and then I've got the regular miracle Grow soil into something about this size. So that they'll, they'll be okay, their roots can continue to grow until time to put them out there. Because if I put them out there, I would have to cover them every, every night or something, you know, or, or any night that it got cool anyway. I don't really want to have to do that. So there's not that many of them. I think there's 12 plants here. Yeah, 12. So I think that'd probably be the best thing to do because if they grow a little lanky, I can always uh, bury it on down to the first leaves when I put them in here. And the, and the part that's in there will grow roots. So, uh, it's looking good back here right now. I just can't wait to, to start. These little like tree things have been growing in here. They must have blown in here from the trees back here. Things are wanting to grow in here anyway. <laughs> keep on top of it though. Ugh. 
Can't let the weeds take over before you even get planted. Oh, Mr. Owl. We never have named our owl. I've done contests in the past to name the gnome contest. We named them Adam and Eva over there. Adam needs some work on his hat. I've been using nail polish. I might need to get some other kind of paint. He needs a paint job on his hat. There we go. Crossed my fingers, but I still haven't seen the cat do anything out here. They're not undisturbed, you know. And that's still growing. Look at that. I don't know what it is. Okay. No weeds growing in this one. So we just set it up. They don't like that suet as much. I need to put some seed out here for them. I don't like the suet. Now this one here as much. I don't know if that's the one from, I think that was the one from Dollar General, which is the same one that has, they have at Dollar Tree. Yeah, these are looking pretty good. I don't know what happened right here to that one, but these, these are nice. Yep. I don't know when these will bloom. They don't even have any blooms on them at all. Looks like they need some rain to me. I hate to start watering already. Well, there's plenty of seeds down here if they'll get some water and get going. birds sound good yeah I need to put some seed out here today it might rain though today I need to get a drink of my coffee yeah I'm getting excited about planting this can't do it though if it was to frost you know it'd be bad news I basically grew, had things growing all winter. And they could still be in there right now. I just wanted to get everything cleaned up and have it rest for a while, you know, let the, let the soil rest. <coughs> There's plenty of seeds in there I put. We'll see what happens. I'm still gonna put some others I just used the seeds that I harvested last year. Uh, I've still got other seeds that I can plant. The flower seeds, I mean. I'm just kind of waiting on them. I about need to rake some. Looky here. Aren't you looking good? Beautiful. Easy. Waiting for it to slow down. Wonder why this one's so far behind this one. It looks the same. Sure does. So we'll have two pretty. Well, at least that one will bloom at a different time and we'll have blooms, you know, longer that way. Well, this stuff grows fast. Yeah, it does.
Try and look good. You just have to sit here and pick them every day or this will turn into a bush. And pick the old, pick the, the ones out of the bush, you gotta pick them. Cause I can't spray this with, you know, weed killer or whatever to get rid of it. It'll kill everything. Well. I'm very pleased with the way this looks. The guy's over there mowing with this little electric mower. It seems to do pretty good. It doesn't make any noise. That's, that's something hard to believe. No noise. You're mowing. My lower back's hurting a little. Too much squatting down and stuff. Uh, plus, potting those up, stay kind of bent over, you know. Oh, there's a worm. Well, stump flower, too, is off to a good start. I hope it doesn't frost and kill those blooms. I'm kind of glad it's not super sunny out that way. These plants, I can leave them out a little bit longer. And uh, that way they can just get some air and half sun, I guess you'd call it. Because I did bake them the, the other day. I left them out for just a half hour longer is all than I had been and uh, it killed about six of them Which I had extras though. That's that's why I'm glad I had extras for insurance That's uh, I just found some that looked good You know and replaced the ones that were dead It bothered me though because I felt like I you know kind of let them down. I just Stuck, got busy with something, you know. I didn't realize it had been a half hour longer. I should set some kind of timer on my phone. I'll set a timer maybe. So I don't mess up. I can't wait for all these flowers to grow. Because I still got, like I said, I still got more to put out. But I'm waiting on them. I'd say that tub that I used, that I showed y'all how much I used from, I bet those were who knows how many, hundreds of thousands of seeds, I'm sure. Of course, they, they don't all germinate. A lot of them, like I said, get eaten. Birds like them. Ants came off, like I said. There he is. See, that thing didn't make any noise at all. They're expensive though. We were looking at push mowers the other day. At Home Depot, man. All their mowers are expensive. This poor worm's gonna bake here. We still have a chance over here. Should've took him to the garden. He's a fighter. I probably can't see him now. Where'd he go? I don't see him now. Y'all see him? There he is. Let's put him in the garden. Come on. Come on, we'll put you in. You're gonna love this.
Now you're going to really like this. Over there, it's making that squawking. Yeah, over about half of this bag or more is gone of the Miracle Grow uh, organics. Let the sun's back out a little bit for them. Okay, let's see here. Let me get my glasses. I got stuff all over my shirt. What I did. Okay, today is Saturday, April 10th. Currently it's 69 degrees, high today 72. Precipitation chance is 80%. 56% humidity. Winds are at 7 miles per hour and air quality is 44. Good rain. Oh, my little things are spinning around. That one's hitting the uh, hummingbird though, sometimes. It'll be okay. All right, uh, today's thumbnail is the Great Value Turkey. I think it's called Turkey and Stuffing Bake. Um, and they've got several different dinners. They've got, uh, we've got, we think we're gonna have it tomorrow. We got uh, stuffed shells. And they're about anywhere from five to six bucks, I believe. They've also got one we tried before that's a uh, burrito casserole or something like that. It's got layers of tortillas in it. Layered burrito casserole, I think is what it's called or something. That one's good too. And uh, we ate every bit of it, uh, the three of us. They're not huge. I mean, you could probably make four. Uh, you could probably, you know, if you had plenty of other things with it, you could probably feed four with it, which that's not bad for like six bucks. That's like a dollar fifty each. But it, it, this, uh, the, we had the Great Value Turkey and Stuffing Bake, I think is what it's called. And uh, it was delicious, y'all. We really liked it, and we're going to get it again. We had it a long time ago, but I guess we'd forgotten how good it, it was or something. But we got it again, and we will be getting that uh, each month at least. Maybe two of them a month or something. Because um, it's just really good. It, it, you, know, it, you know what? It's good enough to where if you didn't want to cook for Thanksgiving... You could have that. I'm serious. I mean, Logan and I were talking about it. That's that's our review on it. Uh, didn't need any. I didn't. You know, it wasn't bland. I mean, it was wasn't salty. Uh, it didn't need any salt though, or anything, you know, on it. So it was just really perfect uh, to be a frozen meal <coughs> in the cost. <coughs> and plus, we had the Kroger brand mashed potatoes that are like the Bob Evans ones and I'll tell you what they are really really good really good and then we had uh, chicken gravy what brand was that I, I can't remember what brand it was but the chicken gravy was good they didn't have turkey gravy uh, and we had some cranberry sauce and Hawaii, the Hawaii, uh, that came from grocery outlet it was some off-brand, and it was good. And then we had some Hawaiian rolls from uh, the Aldi brand of them. So we had just a, like almost like a little Thanksgiving meal, and it was great. Okay, let's see. I will be have, uploading a Dollar Tree haul today, like I said. Ask My Tablet will be tonight. And today's question, what was your favorite meal that your mother fixed you growing up?
So, that's today's question. What was your favorite meal your mother fixed you growing up? And now it's time for today's tidbits. I'm running a little long, so let's get going here. Too many things to say and do. Uh, I could ever get to it. I don't think I've had my tablet on today. Yeah, that's why. Slow. Okay. Any day now. Get me a drink of coffee in a moment. Okay, finally. Let's see. Come on. Get going. Okay, this one says the 2013 asteroid explosion in Russia. It says a 20 meter wide small asteroid broke up over Chelyabinsk, Russia on February 15, 2013. The blast was stronger than a nuclear explosion and injured about 1,200 people. It was so strong that it was detected even in Antarctica's monitoring station. It was the largest since 1908 Tunguska explosion. I can't pronounce some of these. Uh, it says rising temp hinders potato production. That's great. The growth of the most common potato variety, Russet Burbank, along the Pacific Northwest may become difficult due to the warm and dry climate. High heat and inadequate water can create bumps and other malformation on the tubers. Rising temp also causes uneven starch to sugar conversion in potatoes, which will make it dark when fried. Great. This is Hangifoss, the third highest waterfall in Iceland. Whoa. The third highest waterfall in Iceland at breathtaking 128.5 meters height alone doesn't make Hangifoss a natural wonder. This waterfall is characterized by the rock layers of red clay sandwiched between five to six million year old basalt layers from volcanic eruptions creating red strata patterns. It does look pretty cool. Mesa Verde, the 100th International Dark Sky Park. The Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado has been accredited as the 100th International Dark Sky Park globally. It joins a growing set of 169 dark sky places in 21 countries. The certification recognizes the park's commitment to improving night skies using more energy efficient, sustainable lighting. How is sea breeze formed? It just shows a picture of ocean light. Sea breezes occur during hot days near the coast where there's a significant difference between the land and water's air temperature. It starts to form when warm air over the land creates an area of lower air pressure. As a balancing act, the ocean's cooler air rushes towards land created, creates a wind circulation. Hmm. Will cyclones create Fujiwara effect on Aus Coast, Australia? Tropical cyclone Saroja is forecast to hit the western Australian coast on Sunday. It is expected to make landfall near Carnarvon, Carnarvon in Gascoigne. Another tropical low has also formed west of cyclone Saroja. The two cyclones are expected to rotate around each other to create the Fujiwara effect where the storms look like dancing around each other. Okay. The Soda Dam Hot Springs of New Mexico. The Soda Dam Hot Spring was formed by calcium carbonate and travertine deposits from 15 thermal springs heated by Val's Caldera's volcanic magma. 
It was built up 7,000 years ago across the Jemez River in New Mexico. The river flows through the dome-like bridge created by the de deposition of these minerals. Huh. Okay. Billion dollar disaster, warmer weather 2021 so far. According to NOAA, the U.S.'s overall weather condition has been running warmer and wetter than average since January. In fact, March turned out a bit warmer and drier than average in the nation. The country also saw its first billion dollar disaster of 2021 due to the unprecedented freeze in Fred February. Whoa. It says more twisters possible in the south this weekend. Multiple twisters hit the southern states, damaging homes and other structures over the past two days. More tornado threats are still in place in these regions for the weekend, and there are possibilities of dangerous travel conditions, especially for truckers. There could also be a large hail and severe crosswinds exceeding 60 miles per hour in some areas. That doesn't sound too good. This one says Big Sur's Highway 1 to reopen by April 30th. Look at that. The California Department of Transportation stated that Highway 1 along Big Sur would reopen earlier than expected on April 30. The work to repair the large piece of roadway that crumbled in a storm in the last week of January is nearly two months ahead of schedule. The repair work was estimated to cost $11.5 million. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. All right, everybody. I guess that's going to be it for today's morning coffee break. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I'll see everybody later. I say, let's say, with the Dollar Tree haul. And then later on, ask my tablet. Bye, everybody. God bless.